Hello and welcome back to Tharic Place, Slay the Spire, and let's continue our current run. And let's see. We start down here. So I think we we have an interesting combination on our hand here that could do a lot for us. It's an orb an orb walker, so we disarm you. And then Iron Wave. Uh bite. And we don't play either of these right now. Although a feed would increase our chances here, but I do I would like to get the chance to heal or increase our max HP again, so I think I'm gonna try to make that happen. There we go. Yeah, the wounds are should be working if we draw them together with the right cards. This is kind of unfortunate, though, since I won't be able to... Yeah, we, we true Brit to exhaust one bite, and then we bite and clash. We don't pick up any of those. Well, maybe I should have picked up the Pommel Strike. Card draw could actually work for us as well, depending on how we play it. The burn cards right now are real annoying, though. And I mean, this is just horrible, basically. Because it, it just doesn't do anything for us. We can't play any of these cards. It's so bad. So we take 13 damage now, so yay. I... Oh, well, we maybe I, I, I need to use the elixir, basically. If that happens. Let's see. This is good. We walk cry, which means we draw two cards. So I can put sentinel back on top, which we don't need. We put the defend back on top. We havoc the defend. And then we sentinel... Blood for blood, bite, bite. Oh, I should have sentineled at the end, because that way it would have given us a little bit more. So we still take a little bit of damage there. Uh, we can skip this, he's going to be dead next turn, ideally. So we're good. I could have killed him already, but taking one damage there is fine, I think, as well. Ooh, boy. Let's actually see what we get. Sever soul. Yeah, we're good. Okay, not horrible, I think. Pretty decent start here. So do I pick up another Inflame card? That might be good. The upgraded Twin Strike is not horrible either, as well as the Intimidate. I think in this case I am going to pick up an Intimidate as a safety measure uh, to get the weakness out on enemies. Uh, and if we upgrade it... Ooh, okay. So with this one we could increase our max HP. I think I'm actually giving away... The feed card. That way, because the later it gets, the harder it gets to use feed. And if we give them a card of this rarity, for once they heal us up to full, and also they increase our max HP by 10. So we do that. Yeah. Okay, thanks for, for, uh, for watching Booscore, and see you next time. I still don't know how to say goodbye to people when they say they have to go. I really should know that by now. <laughs> it's it's off hopefully okay thanks for watching and see you next time buddy uh yes please madness cards just lovely i like those okay so we true grit a bite Which unfortunately means I still can't play Blood for Blood and the Bite together, but that means we... He's the one that's defending. But in this case, I think I want to nuke one quickly instead. So we're going to go in like this and not play the Bite. And... Battle Trance, yes, I think that could work. So we take one damage right now. Uh, and I'm okay with this, because... If they go in with their 2 times 8 attacks, which this guy at least does... Uh, we want to be a little bit safer there. Ooh. In flame. We... Battle trance, yes. Okay, this is interesting. This is really interesting. So let's see. How do I play this? Right now. I think we play Infernal Blade and we can just play the Anger card. Sure, that's fine. Let me walk right here. 
Oh, yeah, we have no more card draw. I forgot. Okay, that was a misplay. So what do we put on top of our draw pile? Um, Havoc. We don't want to play it here in this case. Which means we get it next turn. Yeah, that was a really bad play on my behalf. We do this, get true good for free now. Okay, but we just play like this. So that way I still take a little bit of damage, but ah well. That was dumb. That was real dumb. What I really need for my deck is um, a dual wheel plus, I think. Because that way I can I can create copies of the cards that I really want to copy. Okay, this is fine. So we disarm you. We intimidate. We play... Well, we don't play Seeing Red yet. Uh, oh, to put on top of our draw pile. I have three energy right now. We put the Bite back. We play Blood for Blood. We play Shockwave. And then we can throw that out. So we just... Still kill him, even though we just... Yeah, we kill him. That way we only take three damage. That's fine. And... I think I'm picking up a Carnage card here just because it's a lot of high damage. We got a little bit of strength increase already. And they're vulnerable. So that's kind of the main reason there. And then we draw two wounds, of course. At least we've got a bunch of bites. None of this really helps us. Let's. I'm just drinking this and exhaust these now since... We don't really want to draw them again, and we're gonna get another potion anyways here. <sighs> oh yeah, if we could duplicate the value of a relic, that could be pretty interesting, but would also be way too strong, probably. We double tap. Carnage, which will kill you. Thank you. And then, unfortunately, well, I think, yeah, we do this, we kill you. And heal as well. There we go. So all of this is good. We don't need to do anything. We can skip here. And as hopefully we can kill him next turn, but he's defending, so we might not be able to. At least we draw the Madness card, so I'll be able to make one card cost nothing. But everything else we draw will be kind of crucial here. Could be okay. Yeah, I think we're going to do this, though. We True Grit the Madness card... Since that's the only one we really don't need to play. And then we do this. There we go. Otherwise, we wouldn't have gotten the kill. We get a second strength potion. And I think I want to pick up the Iron Wave Plus here. That's perfectly fine. And I think we also want to go fight an Elite, even though it does worry me a little bit. Depending on which one we get, we're going to be in trouble. Oh... These are horrible for us. We try. I mean, I always try. I very, very rarely don't try to kill these. But I am gonna do this right away. So we true grit the defend. And then, iron wave, bite, bite. Ah, uh, we should have started this again. I already played it again in the other one. Yeah, the Spike Dudes are the main reason I was considering not doing that. That's the issue. Skills cost zero to play whenever you play a skill exhausted. No, we can't do that. No, we skip here, please. So we take three damage. So one damage because we've got Tori. But yeah, we need to nuke him as fast as possible, the fastest we've ever tried this. And then just see where this leads. So we walk cry. Good, we put the... We put seeing red on top of our draw pile. Let me count my mana. Energy. We get rid of this one. We true grit the wound. We double tap the Infernal Blade, and we use Shockwave first. But the Infernal Blade will be a free attack, so we... Yeah, I think that's the way to play it. 
So, Shockwave. Which at least will reduce the damage for quite a while. Then we... let's just see what we get. Oh, we get Fiendfire, which already means I can't play it the way that I wanted to. So we are just going to play the Fiendfire now to nuke him. There we go, so we get him down to 16. Means we take more damage, unfortunately. But we definitely have to play it this way. Yeah. And double tapping that would have just reduced the damage since you can't double tap that, that card. Because it exhausts all the cards in the first uh, try and then... Yeah. The main issue is I think we're going to be able to do this. What worries me more is the fact that... Might as well. Okay, we get Seeing Red for free. He's still alive for one right now. Oh. Still gotta do it, unfortunately. Um, we'll skip. I lost my train of thought there, unfortunately, so I don't know what I tried to say. Oh yeah, what worries me the most is that we're gonna have to fight an elite right after this. Because these guys are going to hurt us when we kill them. And they're still buffing themselves so, so much. Which is super annoying. So let's see, we Iron Wave you. So he's dead, we war cry. Which means right now, we put Clash back on top of our deck since we cannot play that with the burn cards in our hand. And then we disarm one of them. And I play Madness just because, basically. So yeah, now we've got some issues with this. So we pick up Feel No Pain. There we go. Yeah, Madness is until the end of combat, punk. So the good thing is they're still vulnerable, so we're going to be able to deal a good amount of damage there. So we Inflame, we Feel No Pain, and at least I can heal a little bit, but now we're going to take some damage here. So I can kill one this round, at least. Um, let's pick up Blood for Blood. We're going to be able to play it for zero and deals more than Clash and is not as restrictive. Yeah, this will be rough when we run into the Elite on the next one. But let's see, at least in this case I get to Sentinel. Uh, we... The Havoc card could be good and bad, but I think I'll try it out. Okay, we got... We, we exhausted a Burn card there, so that's actually really good. So we Iron Wave first, because that way I get 7 block back, or 9 block back, so we have 9 remaining, and then we can kill him with this. Okay, good. Worked somewhat. We went down here, but the Magical Flower is amazing as a pickup. A little bit late, but it's gonna make Burning Blood healers for 9 now. And I pick up a Feel No Pain Plus. Thank you, we finally get a, a, an Exhaust Synergy power. It's taken long enough. Okay, this guy also scares me extremely. We disarm. Okay, weird. Um, we still don't play the Madness cards, I think. Or do we? Well, we might. So, Iron Wave, Iron Wave... Yeah, I think I'm, st I'm still playing them just to not draw them anymore. But of course, these cards, I mean, we can play this. That doesn't do anything. And we could exhaust something with True Grit, but I don't think so in this case. Dual Wield. I think I want a Dual Wield. That will allow me to create copies of Clash, for example. Or others, but we need to kill him extremely quickly. But yeah, here we go. We War Cry. We put a war cry back on top of our deck. We play Feel No Pain as a setup. We dual wield Clash. And then we go in with Clash or with Bite. Bite, which also the Magic of Flower helps there. And then we, yeah, we do all this. Okay, I like where this is going, but there could still be issues here. Blood for blood we don't need in this case. I'm picking up another Inflame. 
Because we're not likely to take that much damage here while he counts down, basically. He's just debuffing us a lot. We might take some damage, and we might have to take some damage on purpose as well, but we'll see. Let's play Warcry first. We put the... Uh, we put Blood for Blood back in this case. Let's see. Intimidate. We inflame. We play the Infernal Blade. What do we get? We get a Headbutt. That's cool. Which we will double tap. And what do we put back here in this case? We put back... Uh, a Clash. And... A Double Tap. Again, yeah. And we pick up another Inflame. Because we need as much damage as possible against him right now. Otherwise, we're just gonna die here. Okay, interesting. Inflame. Inflame. And then we double tap Clash, unfortunately. We can't play Blood for Blood yet. We still haven't gotten any vulnerability on him, which is our biggest issue here right now. With all of this, we need to draw Shockwave. He's already at one, so he's gonna he's gonna start dealing a lot of damage soon. Ooh boy, Havoc. We get rid of this. Okay, we True Grit the Defend card. Yeah, and then Bite, Bite. Still haven't gotten a single Exhaust card. Yeah, I don't like the way this worked out. Now, I think I'm gonna pick up Dark Embrace since we need the extra card draw out of the Exhaustion here. Now. Uh, so I'm going to draw Shockwave now, among other things. Okay, so... This is real scary. Can I play this? The thing is, we either play Dark Embrace... Or... And Shockwave, and then hit him with the Clash. Or we shockwave, bite, bite. Which might be better because it's more damage right now. Yeah, I think this was a bad pickup right now. I think we, because of the card draw, even though I would like to play this, these are just more important than the healers again. Yeah, I think I want to try it this way. I shouldn't have gone for this because we, we screwed ourselves out of playing Clash there, which is real bad. I'm going to pick up Berserk, though. Since it's very likely that we're going to be very quickly below 50% HP. Probably next turn already. If I don't miss my guess. Okay. We... We've got four cards to play. This is 14 damage. This is more block. We Iron Wave. Headbutt. We get a clash back. Do I accept to take the damage here? In favor of going in a lot. 25. Over the true grit. Which would keep our block higher. Either way, I think we play this one to increase the efficiency here. So right now, this would go up to... No, we play True Grit. We get up to 23, so we only take 4 damage, which means we take only 1 damage in this case. I am going to pick up a Seeing Red. Ooh, I don't know yet, Punk, if this is my last run. I've got... I, I haven't decided yet. I'm probably going to do another one. In all likelihood, but we'll see. Uh, Seeing Red to exhaust it. Uh, Iron Wave... Fight. I think we'll survive here, but it's gonna still we're gonna take some damage here, basically. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Another feel no pain. No, we don't want to fill our deck up with more cards right now, so we take 15 damage here. But ideally, we'll be able to kill him next round. I really hope we can. Ah, oh, crap. I've got no attacks, and we can't get rid of the wound. That is horrible! 
That is legitimately horrible. That wound card screws us over so much right now. Whenever a card gets exhausted, we gain block, though. So that's good. Yeah, but we can't play the Clash. So he's gonna hit us for a lot more damage right now. And I didn't deal any to him. Yeah, this is not good. That one wound card might have cost us the run. We play Havoc. We get a headbutt on him. Okay. We dual wield the bite. Screw grit, berserker. And then we should be able to kill him with the bites. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so we're surviving here right now. But our HP went down real far. Oh, we get war paint. So we get a defend plus and an intimidate plus. Not horrible. Whenever you lose HP from a card, gain one strength. Nope. A disarm could be good. Another one. Or a pommel strike. But... Well, yeah, we pick up the disarm. That's probably good. And I think I want to rest here. Just to be on the safe side. Go back up to 55 HP. And let's keep going. So this one was kind of scary. And real close. But it worked. And that's the important bit. Oh, really? Let me walk right. We put a madness card on top of our deck. And we don't need to play this madness card right now. We inflame. Oh, nice. We did a clothesline right away. That's cool, though. Bite. Bite. There we go. We also get a dexterity up already. And we heal quite a bit. So that's good. Uh, spot weakness is a decent pickup here. Yeah, I, I like this right now. Um, we've got our HP back up. Our deck is not bad. It's just the, 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 the big head is just a horrible opponent to get. And this is just annoying card draw once again. The wound cards are screwing us again a little bit. So I think in this case we use our potion here to drink. Well... Screw me, I guess. No defense. Also can't play the Clash once again. Um, skip. Yes, I've got a YouTube channel, Punk. And there's, if you want to watch more Blood Bowl, I've got a, over 200 videos that you can watch there, in case you're interested. Uh, just to throw that out there as well, let's make that happen. And then... Hits us for not that much. So we probably bite an Iron Wave right now. In that case, yeah. I think the Iron Wave was a really nice pickup here with this deck. Uh, if I, I could have, if I had gotten more, I probably should have picked that up or picked those up. But what can you do? So he's buffing. We, which means I get a turn to set up. We feel no pain. Let's play the War Cry. Gives us a True Grit. So I'm gonna put. True Grit back right now, and instead we disarm him twice. Yeah, that's nice. And we can also just play that, I guess. There we go. Yep. With Burning Pact. Whew. Thank you very much, Punk. <laughs> and what do we do here? Wow, really? Okay, we exhaust... One seeing red card to draw two cards. That's better. Let's Havoc. What did I just exhaust? I didn't even see. We double tap the bite against him, which heals us for six again. And we don't need to play any more cards. But I am going to get rid of the remaining seeing red here. Yeah. And let's pick up an inflame. So this is a very complicated deck build. It might be, might be the most complicated deck build I've, I've ever played here with, with this clan, uh, with the Ironclad. But I kind of like how it plays. It's a really interesting combination of things. And I'm happy that I'm finally at a point where I can make that work as well for us. Because so far, whenever I have tried to get an exhaust run to work, we've ultimately failed. The deck has become a lot bigger than I want it to be. 
but it is what it is, basically. Yeah, we burning packed, we exhaust sentinel, we gain two energy. So that means we can spot weakness. Hit him with blood for blood, um, iron wave, and get a bite in there. So we are going to take no damage at all. And we're back up to almost full HP. So maybe I didn't need to rest necessarily, but now we're in a much better position. And there is still another elite over here that we can fight, I think. So we might want to go for that. A dex potion is amazing. Let's pick up... Ooh. Mm -hmm. Probably the burning pack plus more, because we can definitely use some card draw here. Oh, Vajra, thank you. Vajra pick up. Not gonna complain. That one's always good. So do I smith something here, or do we toke? Or toke. Okay. Double tap plus is obviously good. We still want the bash plus, of course. And if I toke, what would we toke out of our deck? There is no obvious card that doesn't work for us. We could do with one less true grit by now, maybe, but I think we actually smith the iron wave. No, I'm smith I'm gonna go with the double tap here. Increase our damage potential. That's probably the way to go. Ooh boy, these four guys. Let's see, we are intimidating. We get a drop kick for free, which right now actually doesn't help us as much. Yeah, this is kind of a bummer first turn. Well, it's just nothing we can do about this, basically. So we play the Madness card, we play this and this, which means we don't exhaust anything at all and we still don't take any damage. And I'm going to pick up the Combust card here because it allows me to deal damage to all of them. Without attacking them directly as well, which is against the spike guy is going to be good. And the dazes are going to hamper us as well. But the explosion guy still needs to die first. So there's that. Um, let's see. Let's throw out a... No, we burning pact. We discard the wound. In flame. Pretty please. We war cry. Which means now I get to control what I put on top of my deck. So we put on Combust up there. Which means if I have Havoc now, we activate it instantly. There we go. Now we can... This guy is going to be alive the longest, so he gets disarmed. So Iron Wave is probably the way to go. Yeah, we Iron Wave. And then we Clash against him, so he goes down to 13 already. There we go. That went well. That went really well, actually. So now I can focus on killing these guys still, or maybe we want to try and get this if I draw my Shockwave card quickly enough and we get the vulnerability on him. We should be able to uh, nuke him out without taking too much damage, and then I get a card draw like this. At least they're not attacking me. So there's a little bit of... A little bit of a positive. We're gonna take some damage here out of the explosion, but that's okay. We've got all the bites. We can regain that. It's not that bad. Yeah, this is fine. So they're all taking damage out of our Combust right now. So these guys are going to die fairly quickly. We still need to kill them because of the Dazes, but he is still more annoying to us. And there's our Shockwave. There we go. Thank you. So we disarm him once again. And then, am I okay? I think we're still okay to hit him right now since we're healing quite a bit. We probably want to kill him quicker. Let's just skip this, though. We don't need any of those shenanigans right now. And these guys very rarely attack. The Daze cards are as annoying as they get, especially with our deck. They keep completely keep us from playing Clash. But aside from that, this is still pretty okay, yeah. This. Well... Right now, I actually think I like hitting one of these guys more. So we deal four, exactly. So he's going to be dead. And... We need nothing of this. Since he's attacking, I also don't need to hit him right now. And we get build up a lot of block 
because the dazes exhaust themselves, which is where our power starts to work. Let's see what we get. I mean, this is just annoying, basically, at this point in time. Let's play Feel No Pain first, before we play Warcry, since we exhaust this. Okay, good. We put a daze back on top of our deck. We True Grit. Put a daze, exhaust that, which gives us a lot of blocks, and now I can kill you with blood for blood. We don't take any additional damage. Perfect. So now we can focus on killing him. Ideally, I'd like to hit him with with a bite at the end there, so that we at least regain a little bit of health. But yeah, we're, we're gonna be good. We'll be fine. And then we also do this. So, there's that. At least he's not attacking. But can I please get something? We have a chance to draw a bite here, at least. A fairly good one. We have two in, out of seven cards. Well, nine now. So, about a 50% chance at this point. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I mean, now it's even more likely that we're going to draw, but he's also dead next turn, so please just give me that. <laughs> There's still a chance... No, we're definitely going to draw at least one. Thank you. Goodbye. Don't come back. Oh, a regen potion. Took them long enough. Armaments plus? Armaments plus. Armaments plus. I mean, carnage as well, though. Ah, oh, both of these. The armaments would be amazing to get up to get to upgrade cards like the bites and the clash, the iron wave, everything basically. And we can still exhaust it if we don't need it anymore. But the carnage would just be more damage. But I think I like it more because it also allows me to get more healing out of my bites right now. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Let's see. So we're back to these guys, which is a bummer, but ah well. Uh, let's start with a Burning Pact. We get rid of the Sentinel, gain the extra energy there. Nice. So we Walk Cry. Which means right now I get to put a card back on top of my deck. With Havoc, we get to play that for free. So I could go in with Blood for Blood and just instantly play that for high damage. I think I'm going to do that. It's a bit of a big investment, uh, but I like it still quite a bit. So we do that. We have our play that for free. Um, bite. Let's play a madness card. Do this. We can just nuke him down very far and then we can play true grit and we don't take any damage. Right now dark embrace might actually be a, a right call but I'm gonna pick up intimidate again. Yeah, and we do have these potions, but right now I'd like to keep them since we're fighting an elite next. I want to fight the elite next, that's for sure. I would like to have three potions available for him, if at all possible. Okay, feel no pain. We shockwave. Uh, let's walk cry. Um, we put armaments plus on top of our draw pile. Yeah, we play through grid, exhaust the wound card. And then we... He's defending. We could kill him already. But right now, I think we just hit him. We have enough defend to not take any damage here. And I'm going to pick up a whirlwind card against these guys. They're all vulnerable. And we have at least four energy. If we draw a seeing red, we have five energy at least. Uh, minimum. And the whirlwind will deal a lot of damage in that case. Ooh. I like this. The infernal blade. We play double. We play armaments. Intimidate. And then we double tap the Searing Blow, which will almost get the kill back there, but not quite. But since they're not dealing any damage to me this turn, this is also fine. I don't need to kill one right away. Yeah, good. This is fine. If I draw the Whirlwind now, we have a really good chance of killing all of them. At least these two. They're basically dead already, and... He has some defend left, so he might survive, but ah well. So let's see. He's the only one attacking, so we disarm, we intimidate. And then we probably just kill both of these. No, we can't kill both with a bite. So we kill him. We bring him down to one. We're already back at full HP. Let's pick up a carnage for the high damage. 
So as long as we can kill both of these in one turn now, we're going to be good. I don't think we're really going to take any damage anymore. And even if we do, the Burning Blood heals us for 9 thanks to the Magic Flower. So we're in a really strong position. Um, 6? Really? 6? It's going to be 9 times 4 is, I can do math, 36, they're dead. And an energy potion, lovely. Ooh, clash, a second clash, finally. And it's the nemesis. The nemesis, as annoying as it is, should be perfectly fine. And this is also a kind of an interesting turn. We walk cry first. Because I need to see what we draw. Yeah, okay. We put... Seeing red back on top of our... Deck. We can play Sentinel. We can play Intimidate. We play Infernal Blade. We get the Pommel Strike for free. And now I double tap Clash. Because otherwise... We draw cards first. Well, I guess we play the armaments to get the upgrade, but we don't play it at that point. Yeah, so we already have a really good start against him. Let's pick up Hemokinesis. We're not going to use it right now, but that's okay. Right now we've got enough health re regeneration that I can go for this card, which deals just a lot of damage. And right now all we need to do is defend ourselves and just go for the setups, basically. So we are... Yeah, we play Warcry. We put... Um, what do we put? We put the Bite back on top of our deck. And then we play Inflame. And then I'm just gonna exhaust the Hemokinesis right away again. That way we don't take any damage. We are not taking any of these. But I do gain all of my strength here. Oh yeah, he gives us burn pluses. That's gonna be annoying. But at least they're all in the discard pile. And next turn we can deal damage to him again. We disarm. Are you really? 27 damage? Annoying. Dex potion against him. Yeah. Have more block. Take less damage. We take nothing there. So now we get a turn of dealing damage to him. I hope we can make that one count. At least we've got the vulnerability on him, so I'll get my increased damage. Uh, potentially a good turn. Practically, probably not. Meh, yeah. It's not that good, unfortunately. So at least we're still healing there, but that really was not a good turn for us damage-wise for him, because we can only damage him every three rounds. If I don't get the right cards in those rounds, it's uh, kind of a bummer. At least I've got my exhaust set up right now, which is better than nothing. So let's bite him, because we still heal, at least, and he's hitting us for zero three times. We've got a lot of damage reduction on him. Which is awesome. Maybe I shouldn't have picked up the Whirlwind, but it's gonna deal a lot of damage to him. Well, a lot. In quotation marks. Oh, thank you. We get rid of... We get rid of one of those. But I'm still gonna not only play it once, I guess. There we go. So good turn. We don't take any damage. We still have our plated armor. I can't press. Uh, uh, my God, I can't stress enough how important the thread and needle has been for us, overall. That has been an amazing pickup overall. Uh, it just kept us alive for the longest time since I always gain five block, pretty much. Well, now it's four because you already got us once. Yeah, this is kind of a turn that I was looking for. We burning pact. Get rid of the burn card. Please don't let me draw more now. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. So, armaments. We play Seeing Red, because we need to right now. Now we can clash. Blood for blood, we bite him for free. We get a pommel strike for free, we draw two cards, we bite him again. 
So he goes down to 21 HP. We're still not going to get him in time, unfortunately. But we should be able to get him next time. Or next round he gets, or the next time he gets vulnerable. And he's still at minus 5 strength because we have the disarm plus and the disarm in there. Which is real nice. Uh, yeah, and he, because he, he deals literally no damage to us. Basically. Uh, let's pick up a fire breathing as well. That's just a nice passive bonus that we can use right now to deal a little bit more damage to him. While we wait to actually deal some damage to him. And then we also get a turn like this. Are you serious? That's just horrible. So we take... Way too much damage. Way, way too much damage. God freaking damn it. That's horrible. And our next card draw is not going to be good. That good. Yeah, I could have done without that one, to be honest. Because it looked good until we got to that. Uh, can we get that? So, we are fighting, and then just iron waving. Yeah, so he's dead. We do still have a regen potion, so it's not the end of the world. And the oddly smooth stone is a really decent pickup here. Rage card could be fine, but we're skipping this. And right now, what do I spend against these guys? We probably use the regen potion. Uh, for this? Hmm, I like this. Yeah, we armaments plus. We... Play Havoc for free. We get a disarm against him. That's good. And then we double tap the bites. Yeah, no worries. I, I hope it was a good dinner, punk. I hope it tasted very good. Let's kill the explosive guy first. But we do heal just... For a lot now. We heal for 10 just out of these. Which is pretty amazing. Thank you Double Tap and thank you Armaments Plus. And then we are picking up a spot weakness here. Thank you very much. So we're not taking any damage. Yeah, the regen potion might not have even been necessary. But I think it's okay, I guess. Because this guy is going to start dealing a lot of damage to us. And this one kind of hurts. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, we spot weakness. And then true grid ones. Play it defensively. I guess. We could also kill him instead. We kill him instead before he does anything else. Might be questionable, but I like it right now. I'm also going to pick up the bludgeon. Or a change, since we need to break through his block very quickly. And that way, he also, we want to kill him with as little hits as possible. So one bludgeon might already be enough to kill him with our increased strength. All of which are good enough reasons for me to do this. Okay, he is finally being able to get weakened now. Uh, possibly. Ooh, what do we put on top of our draw pile? A wound, please. I want to play Clash, which is why I'm doing this, even though it's just a waste, basically. Yeah, this one's gonna hurt, isn't it? So, probably just nuke him still. At least a little bit. Yeah, and we're gonna hit him with the other one. Yeah, that's fine. Let's pick up a Reaper card. It's more healing once again, which will be more efficient. Oh boy, so that one hurts. So I, the, the regen potion was definitely the right call here. We could get that out quickly. Let's see, feel no pain. Wall cry. We put the wound card back on top of our deck. We play the infernal blade. Oh nice, we get another blood for blood. So I think we're going to be able to get the kill now. My god, that's so much damage. So we kill you with this. He hits me for 10. I think I'm actually more interested in Iron Waving here to not take damage. There we go. Hey Akira TV, how are you? Clothesline for the weakness might be okay. There we go. Yeah, I, I finally, unfortunately, lost my, my uh, streak with the 
with the silent today, I had five wins in a row up until today. Unfortunately, yeah, we, we lost that. So that was a bit of a bummer. And unfortunately, we're going to take damage again here because I picked up a freaking wound card. At least we can weaken him. So he's dealing a little bit less, but yeah, we can't get him there. Wouldn't have killed him anyways, but it still would have been nice. Let's pick up a dual wheel to create a copy of some sort of attack here. Yeah, the Reaper card, for example. If I can create copies of the Reaper card and play it twice, it could be good, but we would need more energy for that. So let's see. We need to heal as much as possible against him. He's only hitting me for this. So we Iron Wave, Dual Wield, the Bite. We Bite him twice, which will kill him, and we heal twice. There we go. So we go back up to 73. Awesome. And we get another Energy Potion. Uh, we skip this once again, and now it's our last campfire. What is the last thing we do? We, pr I'm probably gonna go in with the disarm plus again. Yep, not probably. That's instantly what we do. And let's see who we get. We get Donu and Dekka. That's gonna be difficult, possibly. Well, it should be fine ultimately, but uh, getting rid of their artifact is going to be crucial here. So what do we do? We are most likely, I think we, yeah, we get rid of the Madness card right now. Are we? On top of our draw pile. No, we do this differently. We put armaments on top of our draw pile right now. We play Burning Pact. Is exhaust the madness card. As unfortunate as it is, we don't necessarily need it, but we wanted to draw here. Now we play Armaments Plus. That way we get two energy out of seeing red. Now we can double tap. Um, we can double tap. What do we double tap? Let's see. He, he hits us for 20. I'm already at 6. 14, 19. So I think we still double tap an Iron Wave, mostly so that we don't lose our one stack of our plated armor here. And then we probably go in with the Bite afterwards. Although, no, our HP should be okay. So let's go in with the damage. We Clash twice and hit him with the Bite once. Yeah, that's good. Decent turn. Uh, I'm gonna pick up the uppercut only because it allows me to get rid of both artifact buffs instantly. There we go. Yeah, I think I did, I'm actually not sure which one I managed to win first with. In this case, wow, really? This is just bad. This is real bad. What do I draw? Clothesline, at least. So, we can... Yeah, we're gonna get rid of his... One here and heal again. So we're at full HP right now, but now we're gonna lose some. Pick up another double tap. If we can play that together with a card that debuffs them, we're gonna get rid of that earlier, and then I can get my shockwave through, hopefully. Which I want both to be able to hit with. Okay, disarm. Will not work here, probably. We put the wound on top of our draw pile, which means we intimidate them. Now, he can be weakened, so we disarm him right now, and this is good. So this, this, and the clash, there we go. So we're once again taking some damage here, but overall, this is pretty good. And I can pick up a disarm card there to reduce his strength in a little while as well. <laughs> Okay, in flame. Let's throw out the Havoc, see what we get. We exhaust the wound, yes. And then we double tap our bite one more time, so we heal again. But we're also going to take some damage. Right now we're taking too much damage for my liking uh, as well, but that's what you have to live with. You basically need to kill Donu before he gets to buff his strength too much. And I need to remove his last artifact buff so that I can get him with a disarm. That's our main issue right now. And this is also an entirely defensive turn, which is kind of annoying, but what can you do, I guess? At least we're not taking any damage. 
I could have even picked up a heavy blade at this point. Yeah, that might have been okay because we do have a little bit of strength already. So there it is. Okay, we should... That's gonna block the weak, but he will get vulnerable. That is not okay, though. I think I'd rather do this. We do this, which will get ignored, which is unfortunate. Then we play Shockwave, but now he's weak and vulnerable, which is more important. And then we throw out an Iron Wave, because that gives me more block. I might as well... I, yeah, we do have our energy potions. What am I doing? Um... Throw this one out as well, so he goes down. We are taking 8 damage here. Do I bite? Do I use the other energy potion? I think we wait with that until we have a chance to actually use it. We definitely pick up the dropkick. Right now, since they're both vulnerable, that's gonna be good. Yeah, Akira, exactly. I only saw that after I used it already, but yeah. Thanks for pointing that out. I, I almost forgot about it. That was definitely the right play, and this is also ho kinda horrible. But let's see what we can make out of it. Since the dropkick will allow us to draw a card, we get a clash, which we can't play. But at least he's almost dead, but we also go down to 4 HP now. So I'm just mildly terrified. At this, I think we have a clear shot at still dying here. I need more healing. But he's almost dead. We only have to deal with him in a moment. 26, 39, 22, yeah, okay, we kill you. We exhaust one card, no, we true grit, we immolate, fight, fight. Ah, I should have done it the other way around once again, I keep forgetting about this, which is pretty bad. Um, let's pick up a flame barrier here because the offensive play needs to happen, but we're gonna go down pretty far, down to eight. Yeah, this could still be extremely bad. But we're gonna have to wait and see, basically, if that plays out or not. Uh, play second, get a second win card here. It's gonna be close. We still have one energy potion left. It basically always... Oh, come on. Always the days with the clash. Just annoying. Am I dead now? I might be. No, okay, we're still in this. But it's close and I'm just not getting the damage right now that I need. Since I can't play my clash. And now he's no longer weak or vulnerable. Which is gonna make things extremely bad for us. So come the... Break on, Burning Pact. We get rid of a Dace. Okay, better. We double tap the clothesline, yeah, basically. So that's at least gonna reapply the weakened on him, but I hate not being able to play the bite. No, we can. Okay. Do I, though? We might need it next turn more. But if I do this, we're going to get the kunai effect. What will we draw next turn? Next turn, we will draw a lot of defense. So I don't need it for next turn. So I think we set this up. Yeah. We bite. I'm also going to... No, this just exhausts these. And I mean, they're, they're going to exhaust themselves anyways. We might as well. With this... I dual wield because we could dual wield the power card. Ooh. Okay, we didn't draw it. Doesn't matter as much. We armaments plus. Berserk for free now. Flame barrier. Okay, we're still fine right now with this. He's gonna go back to, to buffing to defending next turn. So I get a little bit more time. The problem is I can't make him vulnerable anymore. But we armaments now. Yeah, we've won. We duo wield the blood for blood. 
which is for free. I'm playing the inflame and then we kill him. Thank you. My god, that was closer for than closer than I wanted it to be. But hey, it worked! <laughs> so there's that. Woo! So we got an ironclad win. Luckily. Nice. Good one. I like this one. Real weird, but worked out. And I got an achievement. I actually managed to get my deck down to three cards at some point. <sighs> Thank you very much for watching this episode of Slay the Spire. Yay, we won! Now let's do that again and better next time, shall we? If you enjoyed the episode, feel free to leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see me play more Slay the Spire, just stick around. And as always, thanks for watching and I hope that you will tune in next time. Bye guys!